How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to use the fill method on arrays in JavaScript. So fill allows you to basically just fill up an array with a value. So for example, we can make a new array called my array equal to a bunch of strings. For example, uh, decode, dom and nick. So now we're going to change the value of each of these elements in this array uh, using a single line. So down here we can type out my array dot fill and then pass in Sophie for example. So now with one line we've changed three elements in this array to this single value. So we'll log out we'll log out the array before the change and also log it out after the change. So we'll save that one right there. Go in the browser refresh and we see the old array and the new array so it's a quick and easy one-liner that's how it works we can do the same thing with objects so back in the code we'll get rid of Sophie instead put an object right here with two properties name and profession as a software developer now we can save this one, go in the browser, refresh it, and we see the expected result. However, if I go back in here and I want to change the name for the first element in the array, I can say my array at index zero, first element dot name equals nick. I'll save this one, refresh, and we see that nick has been put there for each element in the array. That's because there's actually only one object being created. The rest are just references to that single object. So in order to make a new object for each one, instead use the map method. So back in the code, up here, we'll instead type out my array equals my array dot map and then pass in a function that will return that object. So we can say return and then copy and paste that right there. So now each element in the array is getting a fresh new copy of this object literal. We'll get rid of that, save it, and see how this goes. And we can see that Nick only gets changed for the first element in the array which I guess is the expected outcome. But that is how you can use the fill method on arrays in JavaScript. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.